Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's Call Talk video. And I'm happy to be welcoming global credibility expert Mitchell Levy, uh, who is a two times TED speaker, author of over 60 books, and is an accomplished entrepreneur who created businesses, including four publishing companies. So, Mitchell was last on uh, Call Talk in November 2021, and I'm really happy to have him back on the show. We just had a really good episode of uh, Call Talk. And uh, we will be reprising some of those things for you here. Uh, and the last time, uh, Mitchell, you were on, we talked a lot about credibility and clarity. And today we're going to be talking about coaching and specifically coaching as it applies to managers, the kind of people who watch uh, these videos and who are uh, people who follow the Call Talk show. And, um, you know, here it's so important to develop careers, to develop credibility. And in some cases, people need some help in terms of coaching uh, so that they can do it properly. So I, why don't we just start off with uh, the question that you wanted me to ask and that uh, you know, needs to be put out front for our audience to frame the question properly. Oh, so you know, a lot of times what I found in terms of credibility is, is just having a guest or having somebody come in the room and speak, sometimes that brings credibility associated with it, but other times it's important to give context, right? So I'll just give you a little bit of context. You know, I, uh, we spoke last in November. I was asked to join uh, Marshall Goldsmith's 100 Coaches Organization. Mar Marshall's the number one CEO coach in the world. What that forced me to start doing is taking all the executive coaching that I did in the past, just I thought was part of my job. Mm -hmm. So I sat on the board of a NASDAQ firm, a firm in the call center of business for, for nine years. I, um, I've run four CEO networking groups for a decade. As a book publisher, I've published 750 books. Every one of my authors, if they're a business author, needs coaching, <laughs> right? So it's just part of it. Mm -hmm. And, and so what we, in the conversation, I'll just share a couple elements of credibility that come into the, the need and approach of, of why should you be coached? No matter who you are in the organization, whether you're at the lowest level or at the number one level, you have coaches. Is a sports professional, uh, regardless of any sport, you have just to be clear, more than one coach because there are different coaches going to help in different areas. Personally, I recommend you go through life with something in the order of six coaches and sponsors, most of the time simultaneously. Mm -hmm. And so what happens if you're coachable or you need to be coachable to be credible? Sometimes you may have the intent and commitment to do the right thing, a component of being credible. But what's your definition of the right thing? And it may be skewed by your viewpoint of the world. You want to go to a coach to give you a better or a different, a more robust point of view. The opportunity for you to be vulnerable, which is also a component of credibility, is you saying, hey, I want a coach to learn how I can be better here so I can go somewhere else. What was, what was interesting to me, Bruce, is you said last time I was here, we spoke about credibility and clarity. And, and for me, clarity is, is, is the ability for me to, in seconds, to be able to say who I am. Let me say who I am, and then I'm going to say why this is important. Right. Um, so for me, the types of clients typically attracted to me, leaders living their values and making a difference. What I would encourage anyone who's listening is, can you explain who you are in one to three seconds? Do you have that level of clarity? If you don't, this is worth spending time and focusing on. Additionally, if you're looking for coaching, do you have clarity of what you're looking for? Not how to get there. But when you're working with somebody to be a mentor or a coach, do you actually know what the end product is? Where do you actually want to get? Is it realistic? And are you approaching the person who could be one of the best people to support you in that area? Right. Right. No, absolutely. And, you know, when you think about where these people could come from, uh, they could be somebody who is a, an outside hired coach if you have budget for that. 
Uh, and uh, obviously, if you do that, you're going to want to have somebody who has credibility with you. One of the things you've mentioned in the past is respecting uh, the people that you have as coaches and who you coach. And there has to be that mutual respect there. So somebody who understands where you're coming from, who has background in your area, and who, when you talk with them, you feel uh, that you're connecting uh, and that they really get you instead of saying, oh, no, I'm going to have to explain this because they obviously didn't understand what it's like to be in a call center at, you know, eight o'clock in the morning on Monday, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and so you want to have that kind of uh, ability to do that. And so if you can find mentors inside your organization and you don't have to maybe find budget for it, but you're looking for people who have that experience. And then there's the kind of coaches who are going to be very different from you. It's not that they're trying to help you with your function uh, directly, indirectly they are, but they're trying to help you understand their function so that you can do your function better. And that's the silo buster type of uh, coach, right? That's the person in marketing, where there's always a feud between contact centers and marketing, right? Uh, because the marketing people do things, they don't tell the contact center about it, it results in a flood of calls, and then, you know, there's the back and forth. Same thing for IT, same thing, uh, you know, managing up as well as down, uh, being able to communicate with people. And there, you know, just the ability to, as you say, show some vulnerability and say to them, you know, can you help me? You can use the word coach if you want, but you don't have to. Can you help me understand where you're coming from on this so that I can be a better partner for you and put, say that in the right way so that they can, uh, you know, you can help each other out and you'll find that the coaching is going both ways at a certain point, because if they respond to that properly, then at a certain point, you can say to yourself, you know, they're really not getting me on something that's important too. And you can say, you know, you really helped me out on something uh, last week that had to do with blah, blah, blah. And could I just suggest something to you as well? Or could I, you know, and, and they'll be more open to it because you have been vulnerable to them and, you know, shown respect for them as well. Yeah. Well said. <laughs> Is there a question that you'd like to ask that we covered before or one last question that you want to make sure we, we, uh, we get across? You know, I think that uh, we've done a, pretty good job already. Uh, perhaps the uh, question that was asked about from one of our listeners, which was, um, you know, who should I look to, to be a, a mentor or to be a, a coach? Just any other final thoughts you have on that, and then we'll wrap this up. Oh, sure. You know, there's, when you're thinking about going through life potentially with six simultaneous coaches and mentors, you know, there, there's always an opportunity to, to do stuff from within the company, right? So if there's a particular aspect of, of, of your, your learning, your knowledge, something that might be, uh, might be feel, you feeling like it's stopping you from moving to the next level, yeah. who in the organization, whether they're below you in terms of statute or higher, who in the organization is doing that well? And you could approach them and say, hey, listen, this is an area that I'd love a little bit of support on. Would you be interested in being my mentor for a little bit of time? Mm -hmm. Right? People get excited about that. Yes. What I also want to recommend is most of the world, particularly with COVID, are in need of a little bit more of the robust life coaching, robust opportunity to see who you are and how you add value. And, and so therefore, Somebody outside the company will make a lot more sense in that case. And there are, there are online organizations. There are other places to go. There may be, you go to your boss's boss or you go to other people and talk about it. You could learn, learn from other people where if I want to get something, uh, if I want to learn more and grow into something else. Uh, you know, for me, um, it's, it's, Bruce, I don't think I said this before. It's the person who has hit the wall, that C-suite executive that they hit the wall. They, they've had all these achievements. They've done a lot in life, but now they're not getting, they're not seeing their purpose and not fulfilled with what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. That's a great person for me. Um, if that's somebody you know, feel free to recommend. 
if there's something that you're looking for, who would be a good person for you to get uh, external coaching from? And, and don't be afraid to think that it could be somebody in your internal community today. You just haven't asked. Right. Okay. Well, perfect. Listen, uh, a lot of pearls of wisdom there. I appreciate it once again, Mitchell. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you again soon, I'm sure. All right. Take care. Thanks, Bruce. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye-bye.